This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, is brought to you by Sam Ash Music Stores. Now we're going to work through an interesting pop tune that was written in the 80s by Cindy Lauper. It was a big hit. And with me to work through the tune is my friend David Tolley. Hi, David. Hi, Scott. How are you? I'm doing great. Now, this tune is shockingly simple. Very simple. From a chord change standpoint. Mm -hmm. But it had a nice, it was, it was, it was almost all feel. You know, right. it's a fairly repetitive mem uh, melody and simple chords, but yet the tune's a pretty nice tune to listen to when nice you do song. it. And it's all about the, the, the feel that it evokes, I guess. Right. So that's going to be our challenge on this one is to work through the tune a little bit and, and try to figure out some ways to get the evoke the right feels we want to get from the piano. So let's, let's play a couple measures of it okay. so we can get the tune in our head. So it really is just rotating between the, you know, it's a D minor and a C, and then right. you've got the F and the G at some point, and it, it just kind of, you know. Floats around float, there. It does float. That's the right way to put that. And, and you kind of need to sing the melody to kind of let yourself know where you are in that tune. But how do you approach something like this? When you see something like this on a lead sheet, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. How do you start turning it into something you want to hear? With something like this that doesn't involve a lot of different harmonies and chord changes, I think, well, maybe this might be a good new age type of piano piece, something that's you have these repetitive patterns and, and uh, it creates like a floating atmosphere and then sure. you can put a melody on top and, uh, for well, a piano piece. Great point. And fill in those blanks a little bit. So you're talking about kind of a new agey feel or this kind of you know, ethereal sounding thing. That's a function of just repeating patterns. And huh? of repeating notes and patterns. Such exactly. as. Give us so a few examples. Like, Using the pedal like crazy, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's probably a, a good nugget, I guess, for people that are watching the show to realize maybe you do have the ability, if that's something that you're into doing that style, or just to right. get some practice, you can really just find some sort of a repeating pattern, hold down the pedal, and, and, and then feel free to... Let it repeat, and then put your melody on top. Okay. Why don't you give that one... Is that the one you were using, just sticking on a... It was CGC? Is yeah. Is that all you were doing? So you're just kind of using that C as a pedal tone through the right. whole thing. And even, so the tune actually is from D minor to C, but you're sticking to the C, huh? Right, and I, I usually don't change the chord until it comes to the next section of the minute. Okay. This is where I change the chords right here. F, G, D minor. That's what it kind of hooks you into yeah. where we are in the tune. Well, maybe that's a good way to think about that. Then you've got that kind of eight measure section because I, you know, when I played the tune, I was really going from the D minor to the C, but uh, you're kind of holding, but that's good. That's you're probably kinda, the way it's written. No, <laughs> well, no, well, either way, but it's a good interpretation of it. And the, kind of the nice part about that is through that whole kind of floaty section, it's more floaty that way, I guess, right. for lack of a better description. And then all of a sudden, when you finally hear, bah, it's like it all of a sudden it anchors down when you change right. that chord down to the F chord. Kind of heightens that section. All of a sudden yeah. coming out of just one chord, then going okay. into that. Talk about ways you can you can take a super simple melody like that, just going ba 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 ba, just technically on a piano. What you can do it in different octaves, do it with oct. You know, give us some ideas for you know louder, softer. I don't know. Okay. With, with this instrument, you got a lot of choices, <laughs> but you know you don't want to just keep playing the same thing throughout the whole tune. So. Okay. So if the the simplest would be just one note or octaves okay. or a, a chord on top. Melody's on the top. Melody. Chord tones underneath it. Okay. Okay. Or I could even arpeggiate the top and make sure that the melody's there. So I, I try to imitate a little bit of what I'm doing here, you know. And that's kind of a... That, and that's a nice sound, actually, and it's yeah. kind of a kind of contrapuntal, I guess you yeah. could call that. Boy, where'd that come from? Ooh. Not sure I can spell it, but I said <laughs> it. The, uh, but the idea being you were working in together with both hands. Right. So the arpeggio on the top was going from the top down, and then obviously your other pattern was it's going from the bottom, bottom up. up. 
I guess it goes through the, when it gets to that da, 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 that section is, if you could call it that, is kind of the B section. I yeah. Guess. That's kind of where it changes. Does it do anything else past that? Or is it yeah, just... then it goes into, I guess you could call it the chorus. There you go. That's the time after time. And one more time. Okay, it's a pretty simple cool. tune. That is a pretty simple tune, but it is a. It really does. It's as much as it'd be easy to kind of make fun of something like that. You say, hey, if if it gets the right feel, right. it's a good one. I think of a lot of police tunes or some of the tunes Sting has written have been that right. way. They're really simple harmonically, but they evoke a real feel, I guess. And so the trick is to try to be somewhat honest to that. So, I'll tell you what. I'd love to hear you play this tune. Okay. So we'll uh, have you go through the whole thing and uh, and play time after time. This is yeah. David Tolley. Very nice. Thanks, yeah. David. I Thank appreciate you. the help. This excerpt from the public television program, The Piano Guy, has been brought to you by Sam Ash Music Stores, dedicated to serving musicians from beginners to professionals since 1924.